Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share a quick flip through of a junk journal that is going up in my shop. I just finished this one, I'm really excited about it. So I just wanted to post it and get it up there for anyone who might be interested and to have a link that I can put in my Etsy shop listing. So this is a binder journal that I created out of the new garden book. It's obviously not new, I think. The copyright on this was from the 60s. I came downstairs to film this and I left all of the other papers, the book pages upstairs. But if you purchase this journal, you will also receive all of the book pages that came in this. And also I'm going to wrap it in some seam binding and create a pretty little closure. And I can't find that in the mess. Of creating this journal so <laughs> anyway just to note that but this is a typical better homes and gardens new garden book I think it's like a couple inches wide the pages inside measure about nine I think it was nine and a half by six inches they go along with the um, index cards so this is the inside of the journal because of how bulky this journal was becoming I quit adding things to it but if you purchase this journal you will also be receiving a bag full of ephemera <laughs> that you can use along with your journal if you want to also there's some ephemera clips in here if you don't want that you can take it out and it'll take out some of the bulk of the book also I left this plastic in the binder here because I had a feeling that that was going to help the pages stay in place and protect them a little bit more so that's just something to note too. Okay, so here on the inside of the journal, I added a paper bag with some machine stitching here, and it just has some tea stained paper inside. I created a little pocket here with some lace and little bits to decorate, and then I just have this vintage bulbs, ephemera flyer thing, and this greeting card that someone made this really pretty daffodil watercolor on. And then here in the front, I just have a little bulb pin with some laces and seam binding clipped on there. As far as the journal goes, I have included eight sections here with the index cards. Again, you'll receive the rest of the index cards if you purchase this journal out of my shop. Jeez, I'm having a hard time holding it. <laughs> but the ones that I left in the book are shrubs, vines, roses, garden flowers, special gardens, house plants, vegetables, and fruits. And then I have various pages throughout. So let me tell you my thought process with this journal. Um, I did not add a lot of tucks and junk journal style pockets throughout because my thought is if I were going to use this, garden journal it would be to document my gardening and my flower beds outside and maybe a vegetable garden if I decided to put one in so I would like room for that um, those of you who garden know to document the plants that you decided to use add the seed packets and the tags or whatever say what worked what didn't work for next year maybe sketch out a plan of a flower bed so I left a lot of room for writing and that kind of thing as well because that was important to me. So getting into the journal here on the first index, um, I just added this piece of vintage linen for decoration along with some laces and trims. And then I just added this really pretty doily that my friend Rhonda made and sent me, which I love. A little leaf, Rhonda. Rhonda, there's a lot of you in this journal. <laughs> and then just a little bulb pin there. And then on the back side, I just added some tea stain paper to all of them. There are a few of the original book pages scattered throughout the journal, as you will see. And I have reinforced all of the pages with some, um, yeah, with some of these stickers, which now, as I'm going back through it a couple days later after adding them, some of them are wanting to pop off of the tea stain paper, mostly these index cards so be aware of that you can feel free to peel off any of the stickers that you want to or just add a little touch of glue would work too I've done that 
the glue thing, do a couple of these index things. But anyway, getting into the flip through. So various book pages. And then, like I said, lots of room for journaling. But I did do some stamping and a lot of machine stitching throughout the book pages. So there's some stenciling there of some pretty roses. There's some graph paper. Another book page. And then I can flip through it a little quickly here. A little bit of stamping. There's um, some ephemera scattered throughout. So this is a vintage envelope just on an old index card. And there are some tags throughout as well in case you want to label any of your sections in the journal. So here's some vintage ledger sheet. More paper. This has some leaf stenciling on it. And then on the front of this index is a coffee stained glassine bag with a little bit of a cluster here and some vintage stationery inside of there. This is an envelope and stationery that I just added to the book. And the nice thing about this journal, because it's a binder, you can take things out, move it around, um, add things to it. This is some elementary school graph paper here. I think that's a lot of fun. And then here, the roses section just has some lace added to it. This is a Gwen Frostick. I talk about her a lot. She has some artwork. She was kind of famous in our area here, so there's a little note card of hers. Those are old. Some vintage graph paper here. Some fun machine stitching with some little leaves there. Some graph paper. On the, cut, on the front of this index card, I just used a vintage linen and some lace and created a little pocket. So I added some tea stain paper there. And then here, this is an old envelope, not envelope, this is an old bag, like an old treat sack. So I just created a little tuck here and I added this old strawberry playing card. And then the opening is still here and it has a vintage seed packet in there and then I just added a second card. I will have to include how many book pages are in this in the um, auction and I'll post it in the video down below too because I forgot to count them before I started this video. <laughs> there is a lot though. I actually had to pull out a few which I will send along as well because I already added the um, little circles. So here's another paper bag with a little fabric cluster, a rusted paper clip with some beads and then just another scrap of coffee dyed paper more stenciling. This is some more of that vid vintage ledger and it just flips out. It has a little cluster glued here to the top. Some more pretty lace here on this index. This is just a envelope here that I thought was pretty. I tried to include some of the prettiest images that I enjoyed out of this garden book. So here on the front of this index, I've just stitched on a piece of vintage linen again, and I added some pieces of ephemera in there. Lots of machine stitching. This is an envelope here that I added. So I just glued on a piece of trim here. There's a piece of old stationery and an envelope there. And then on the inside of this envelope, I just tucked. There's an old piece of stationery and then some vintage score sheets in here. And then there's some old notebook paper. So I just put those in there that you could use throughout your journal if you wanted to. Oh, wait, there is a couple more score sheets in there. I always really enjoy those myself. Some graph paper. And then the last index has this paper bag with a little bit of a cluster here and then some more tea stain paper.
This is an old postcard. Another piece of that vintage graph paper. And then here in the back, I did leave this little piece of chipboard that was in the back of the original book because it helps support those pages. And again, I just added one of those paper bags and another pocket in the front. This has a little lace cluster. There's a piece of stationery in there and then just an old vintage seed packet. So that is it for this journal. I had so much fun making this. I've had this um, book for a while now and I've always kind of been intimidated by them but I've always wanted to create a journal like this so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this flip through and again the listing for this journal will be down below as well as a link to my Etsy shop and I hope you all are having a great day I will see you in the next video <laughs> bye